We're here to talk about animal tracks and sign, and for more information, you can check our website at walnuthilltracking.com. Here in front of us, we've collected some wild animal sign in the form of animal scat. Scat is the refuse that the animals leave behind from their digestive processes. Here we have several different species. Knowing scat is an important key to identifying different animals, whether you're interested in the animals themselves purely for the fun of it, or if you're doing a wildlife inventory, you need to know scat in order to determine what animals are living there. Valerie's pointing to the scat of a snowshoe hare, which has a very characteristic shape that is almost like an M&M. &M. It's flattened on two sides and is round. Next is a predator scat. This is the scat of a weasel. It's impossible to determine whether this is a long tail weasel or a short tail weasel, but it is a weasel who are consummate predators. It has characteristics all of its own, being very twisted and tightly woven, tapered at both ends, full of a lot of different animal hair and things like that. The black color comes from its being very fresh. Next is porcupine scat. Porcupine scat oftentimes has that characteristic almost peanut shape, but it doesn't always. It's very helpful if you're unsure about what kind of scat you have to take scat diameters. And to do that, we use calipers, which are very accurate, a lot more accurate than just using a tape measure. Measuring that, Valerie gets a diameter of about 5 sixteenths. And the diameter of a scat is much more important than the length. Always measure the diameter, not the length. As you can see here, this, these are all from the same porcupine, but the length is very variable. You may have some really long pieces, you may have some short pieces, but the diameter is going to be very consistent for that animal. Next we have the moose, which is a large herbivore. And here, these are somewhat characteristic. They're in pellets. Here, we also have moose scat. This, however, is in a different form, and that's due to the fact that the moose, in this case, was eating very soft, succulent, soft vegetation, and therefore the scat came out in a different shape. As you can see, we're wearing latex gloves for, for protection. Always be very careful. After you're done handling it, throw the gloves out, and make sure you sterilize your hands with some hand sterilizer. Some scats are very dangerous. For example, raccoon scat. Raccoons are a host for a very insidious roundworm called Baylisa scaris procyonis, and that can be fatal to human beings if the eggs are ingested. So always be very careful when handling scat. Do not breathe it if you can help it unless you're absolutely certain what animal scat you're dealing with.